Okay, this is Ben K4ZEP from the world's smallest lab. Here's the actual circuit I'm using here on my low power. Uh, no, jewel thief, whatever you want to call it. But the basic circuit is this. Uh, critical components there is, and then the base is a 1N4007 diode, uh, the 2N3055. I'm using the center tap of the transformer using one half of the uh, the, the primary on the yellow and a 10 turn 10k pot set right at 3 3k with a 390 ohm series resistor in series with it feeding the base off the base also comes the 110 volt output of the transformer which goes down to an LED bulb which I show there this is exactly how the transformer is wired the pictorially you can see uh, where the center tap on the right hand side goes to the plus 12. Uh, the one side, the upper side there is not connected. The bottom one goes to the collector and etc. On the other side also you can see which this is to get the polarity correct on the transformer so it'll oscillate. I run it off of a, a variable power supply uh, 0 to 19 volts and right now you can see I'm running about 0.28 amps at 12.3 volts and right there is the waveform again you can see the width of the uh, on time that's why the current is so low and I'm running 63 64 Hertz and uh, 50 100 150 about 200 volts peak to peak coming out of this thing and if I aim the camera at it you can see how bright it is I would say this bulb is running about half or 60% brightness. But as you can see, I'm backing up from my computer here. Let me flip my computer back on. I'm reading about the SpaceX Dragon capsule. It's perfectly usable with a, uh, and it's lighting my desk up here. And uh, uh, it's being powered through the extension cord that comes off of this lamp. It's about six feet long, so the cord length doesn't really seem to have any effect. I put it in the high powered mode here and I'll demonstrate that real quickly by decreasing the bias and it'll pop up into the high power mode now. Now it's, it's really right light here. But I'm running uh, 11 watts now also out of this thing. And the frequency is up to about 265 hertz. And if you look at the waveform, this is the waveform we get here. Now varying the base will increase the uh, the frequency I'm up to 500 Hertz here and you can see the output on the switched input and on the base and the output on the uh, output of the transformer there going to the LED bulb and you can see the um, the on time hence the current higher current is much greater I do not find that putting capacitors across either side of this transformer enhances anything uh, it will change the frequency, it will slightly change the waveform, but the overall output simply doesn't change. It is what it is. Uh, I might be missing something. Peanut Butter has a lot more experience in this than I do, and uh, I bow to his uh, experiments and his successes driving those multiple bulbs. I'm just wanting to show what you can do. Even at 12 watts here, uh, the transistor is probably 85 degrees right now. Now, if we drop it down, back down to the low frequency mode, I'll have to drop it down, uh, flip the power supply off, flip it back on, come back over here, and let's crank up the resistance till I get up to 60 hertz, because below 60 hertz, your eye starts to see that bulb flickering. It'll flicker. And I actually believe that bulb is pulsing. Uh, and your eyes uh, persistence or the ability to spread the light between pulses is what gives you the effect of what you're seeing but it is amazing that uh, with this amount of power I wish I had me a, a lux meter here to measure the actual output and I'll probably buy one off of eBay in the next few days so I can really see what I got here but uh, for what it is if I could light six or eight of these uh, like a lid motors want to do on his boat wow uh, uh, it would light a boat just fine inside at a remarkably small amount of current. So, anyway, I just wanted to show you what you could do in the night with this system on low power. And uh, I'm having fun playing with it. Uh, tomorrow, this circuit is really breadboarding, looks like Kazoop here. 
I'll, uh, I'll clean it up a whole bunch tomorrow. Probably mount the transistor on top of the transformer and with a couple standoffs just have everything hardwired right there. Fixed amount of resistance and, and that will be it and let it run. So anyway, this is K4ZEP. Enough babbling for one night. Have a good evening, folks. See you tomorrow.